For the next talk, I'm happy uh, to introduce you to my colleagues, uh, Carlotta and Ashley, uh, from the Roy O team at Cybert Media. And they will talk about how to run better meetings with the help of Confluence. So the stage is yours. Hi, yeah, I'm Carlotta. I'm a community engagement coordinator with Draw.io. And I'm Ashley Flanagan. I'm the technical pre-sales engineer also with Draw.io. Um, today, as Elisa mentioned, we're going to talk to you about how to run more productive meetings um, using Confluence. OK, so we all know that meetings can suck. And Atlassian even had a whole campaign called Meatless May to encourage teams to cut down on their time spent in meetings. They can be viewed as ineffective, all talk, no action, and make attendees feel like nothing of value was even said. There's even a phrase everyone knows, this meeting could have been an email, which highlights just how inefficient we view meetings. But meetings are unavoidable, and so there has to be a way to make them better. So that is what we're going to tackle today. We're going to give you tips on how to make your meetings more effective using Atlassian's Confluence Cloud. And after implementing some of these tips, we hope that you walk away feeling motivated and productive. So let's start with the first tip. Have a shared meeting agenda in Confluence. Effective meetings don't just magically happen. And one of the ways that you can facilitate them is by creating a shared meeting agenda on a Confluence page ahead of time and then sharing it with your team. There are many ways that this can help. Firstly, a centralized meeting agenda can make it easy for everyone to access the same information. That way, you don't have to collect relevant details from many different sites. It can also be edited collaboratively in real time, allowing all attendees to contribute to the agenda and make changes as needed. This will make sure that nothing that was said during the meeting will be forgotten by the time that you're trying to work on a task. Because you're documenting meeting notes and outcomes, it's easy to refer back to the discussion points and track progress on action items after the meeting. You also have access to relevant information because pages and resources can be linked to your meeting agenda page, and it allows attendees to quickly access information that they need during the meeting. So for example, you're finalizing a product design, and everyone can just pull up the corresponding pages. Another great feature is that the pages can be easily shared with all attendees before and after the meeting so that everyone is on the same page and, once again, has access to the same information. The second tip is to utilize templates to be more efficient. Um, do you oftentimes find yourself creating the same type of page on repeat? I know I've done it, so I'm sure you all probably have as well. Um, if so, Confluence has a really large selection of template options that can help save you a ton of time. In addition to utilizing the pre-made templates that are already available, you can also create your own template or even convert certain file types um, into Confluence pages that can then be made into templates. Using templates for meeting notes is a really good way to keep things organized and easy to find. So when you use the same format for all of your notes, it makes it simple to find the information you need even from previous meetings. Because these templates are really quick and easy to access, using them will save a ton of time since you don't have to start from scratch for every meeting. Templates also help ensure that you don't miss any important details, like the agenda, who attended, what actions seem to be taken next. And this means that you can focus on discussing the actual topics without worrying about forgetting anything. The best part is that Confluence already has templates that you can customize to fit your team's specific needs. And if you're feeling extra ambitious, you can even make your own templates. So try it out for your next meeting and see how much of a difference it can make. The third tip is to collaborate, collaborate on a whiteboard together with your team. So sometimes meetings require a more collaborative approach. For example, at the start of a new project where the team wants to brainstorm together. And Dryo's whiteboard feature can assist in exactly those interactions. So it has many different features. First of all, you and your team can collaborate in real time during the meeting, ensuring that everyone is on the same page and can contribute their ideas and feedback, which is especially helpful with remote teams because they just don't have the option to book a conference room and use a real whiteboard. 
The whiteboard also provides a visual aid that helps to clarify and communicate complex ideas more effectively. So it's easier to understand and retain information. Especially if the topic is very complex, it can be hard to remember every detail over the course of a meeting. Using the whiteboard also encourages engagement from all attendees because everyone can contribute their ideas and feedback directly, which makes the meeting more interactive and productive. And no one has to wait their turn. So if you have an idea, you can just already put it on the board and then discuss it afterwards. Everything in the whiteboard is also customizable. So you can use a variety of shapes, images, text boxes, and post-it notes. And all of these can be recolored and resized to what makes the most sense to every team. There's even a brush tool to sketch with. So all of this tries to make it as close as possible to a real life collaboration on a whiteboard. Because the whiteboard is embedded in a Confluence page, it can be easily saved and shared with all attendees after the meeting, ensuring that everyone has access to the same information and can review the ideas and feedback generated during the meeting. And that means you could also add it to your meeting agenda page that we discussed earlier, combining the two. The fourth tip we have for you is to develop meeting policies and visualize your ideas using dry-o diagrams. So meeting efficiency isn't just defined by what you prepare or how you conduct the meeting. It's also important to make sure that the information is received and understood by everyone that attends. So I mean, how effective is a meeting if everyone leaves with a different interpretation of what was said? Um, implementing draw-io diagrams is an additional way to convey the information just in a visual format. I know since I've been on Team Draw-io personally, um, I have tried to use diagrams in my um, everyday life. So, um, you know, there's a lot of different ways that visual information is just much more easily prepared. It also breaks up, you know, the um, monotony of just words on a page. So, you know, draw it out. We can definitely help you out with your diagrams. <laughs> um, you can also visualize important procedures. So if you do decide that a, an actual meeting is necessary, the next step would be to set one up. So here, a diagram can help you determine what the action steps are for planning a meeting. And then, of course, you can also visualize procedures that are not connected to meetings as well. For example, different stages of product development or steps. OK, and to our fifth and final tip, use Confluence for collaboration with guests in one space. So not all meetings happen only within your team. Sometimes you might have guests from other teams or even other companies join a meeting to work together on a project. This feature is called single space guests and the beta, beta. beta version <laughs> is currently rolled out. It's extremely helpful because it allows the guests to access a specific confluence space, streamlining collaboration, and making it easier to share information and feedback. You also don't have to worry about security because the confluence space owners can control the level of access that guests have, making sure <laughs> that confidential information remains secure. So the guests will only have access to a specific page that you actually invite them to. The invitation process is extremely easy. Space owners simply send the guests an email invitation and assign access to the correct page afterwards. This simplifies communication with guests and internal team members through Confluence, reducing the need for external email chains and improving communication efficiency. So overall, the single guest space feature in Confluence can improve collaboration, communication, and product outcomes and project outcomes by providing a secure and efficient way for external partners to access and interact with important product information. So I know we said we were going to give you five tips, but we're nice people, so we decided to throw in a bonus. And that's utilizing Trello um, and the power of Kanban boards. Um, so if you wanted to use Trello to organize everything that was discussed during the meeting, that's also an option. So we discussed the Confluence templates. Trello has a very similar feature in the template options for a variety of templates that you could use during meetings, after meetings. 
any way that you wanted to record your notes. These templates are essentially lists for your weekly team meetings that you can duplicate and then use to track new items, team updates, topics deferred from the last meeting, follow-ups and actions, and so much more. If you wanted to link your Confluence pages and JIRA tickets, you can do so. Um, you can link the JIRA issues to cards, connect different workspaces, also view important issue information on the card, see if any of the liked issues are done at a quick glance, and then quickly jump into your JIRA project by linking your board. The JIRA issue will also automatically be linked back to a Trello card, so everyone in your team can see the origin of the task. So we appreciate you guys coming today, and I hope you are able to implement some of these into your team meetings to see if it makes them more effective. Thank you so much, Ashley and Charlotta. Carlotta? Um, yeah, we actually have two more minutes. Uh, if you have any questions right now, uh, just raise your hand. If not, uh, the two will be around in the networking area. Just go and find them. Yeah. We will be at the Dryo booth, number 17. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>